Well, the unique program's hitting the high notes, helping students improve their reading skills through the power of singing. And it's what's right with Tampa Bay. Salona Lopez is learning how to read while singing. It's fun to sing because I like singing and I like it. I like when it tells me different words. Salona is taking part in the Sing Out and Read Family Literacy Project. It's a nonprofit with a mission to help kids who are behind in reading catch up quickly with their grade level by using the magic of music. One a penny, two penny. There's a whole bunch of good things that happen with music in the brain that helps uh, children remember, and adults too, uh, remember what it is they're reading and seeing. Just sit in his seat. Victoria Klug is a former fifth grade teacher and now teaches first grade at Dunbar Elementary. What I found is that children are missing the phonics and they're coming to me in fifth grade reading on a first grade level. And they're not able to access the instruction that is provided to them in the general education. Classroom. Carlo Franzblau, founder of Sing Out and Read, says more than two thirds of third graders are not reading on their level. And he's determined to improve those numbers with notes. If you can't read, you can't succeed. And certainly not in our society today. We're, we live in a knowledge society, a knowledge economy. To help turn the tide, students are given a computer to take home for 12 weeks so they learn at school and at home. And it seems to be working. It was what I have found is with Sing Out and Read, it helped bridge the gap between students reading two or more grade levels behind and then being able to sort of catch up. Striking the right note to help young readers stay in tune with their education.